Welcome to Math Edition of Science Learning Academy. Today we shall be solving UTME question Venn diagram with a formula. This is very good while writing multiple choice exam. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Science e Learning Academy for more videos. And as well, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Science e Learning Academy. So in this question, we have that in a class of 40 students, each student offer at least one of physics and chemistry. If the number of students that offer physics is three times the number of the number that offers both subjects, and the number that offer chemistry is twice the number of students that offers physics, find the number of the students that offers physics only. So first of all, let's Put down our parameters. The universal set U is equal to 40 students. Then the first part of the question says if the number of the students that offers physics is three times the number that offer both subjects. So now let's use C to represent uh, chemistry and P to represent physics. So now, first of all, the number of those that offers two subjects, that's the physics intersection chemistry now, is equal to X. We don't know it. Let's assume it to be X. But the number of those that offers physics now is three times those that offers both, which is three times x which is equal to 3x then the number that offer chemistry is twice the number of students that offers physics okay so now chemistry c is equal to twice the students that offer physics which is 3x this is equal to 6x now we ask to find the number of students that offers physics only. So for us to find the number of students that offers physics only, then we have that let's use the number of physics subscript uh, oh, only is now equal to this is 3x minus x this will give us the number of students that offers physics only because here in the 3x here the 3x here it doesn't show it doesn't mean the number of students that offers physics only because some students here offers chemistry as well some students offer chemistry as well so for us to determine the number of students that offer um, physics only we have to subtract this x from here so now and this the number of people that offer physics only is equal to 3x minus x and this is equal to uh, 2x so we have to find our value of x for us to know the number of students that offer physics only. So using our formula, we have that the universal set U is equal to the number of A plus the number of B plus the number of N minus the number of A intersection B. So this number of the n n here the number of n right is the number of those people that didn't partake in the survey but in this question it's not given so this is zero so assuming that a is the number of people that uh, of us physics and and b is that of chemistry then our formula can be the number of 
those that offer physics plus number of those that offer chemistry minus and p intersection intersection c so I have our universal set is 40 is equal to the number of those that are fast physics 3x plus chemistry 6x minus x so now i have that this is 40 3x plus 6x will give me 9x minus x so this is 40 is it 9x minus x will give me 8x so now we have to make x the subject of formula making x the subject of formula we divide both sides by the coefficient of uh, x and the coefficient of x here is 8 so i have uh, x to be 40 all over 8 and 40 divided by 8 will give me 5 so the number of those that offer um, both physics and chemistry we have five students remember that the number of students that offer physics only is equal to 2x which is the n number of people that offer physics only is equal to 2x so substituting this um, x in this equation we have that this number of people that offer physics only 2x by 5 this is equal to 10 student coming back to our question you can see that option c is the right answer you can try solving this question with a venn diagram as well and compare it with our solution to see if we get the same you will get the same answer thank you for watching our video if you have any question please email us at science e learning academy science e learning academy one word at gmail.com thank you